Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss a few multiple choice questions in thorax from heart, mediastinum, and chest wall. So, question number one A 26 year old man presents with a tumor confined to the anterior mediastinum. Which of the following structures could be the most probable site of a tumor in the anterior mediastinum? Choices are trachea, thymus, esophagus, lung. Trachea is not a content of anterior mediastinum. Trachea is a content of superior mediastinum. Thymus is a content of anterior mediastinum. Esophagus is a content of posterior mediastinum. Lungs are not the content of the mediastinum. So, among these three, our answer should be thymus. Thymus is a site of tumor. That is maybe thymoma. That may be benign in many cases, but sometimes it may be malignant. So, our answer is B, thymus. There is a content of anterior mediastinum. Okay, so we got thymus, its location, the root of the neck, the superior mediastinum, maybe the anterior mediastinum. Okay, now question number two. During a bike week, a 34-year-old motorcyclist was involved in a road traffic accident and fractured his left 9th and 10th ribs. Which of the following structure would most likely be damaged? So, left 9th and 10th ribs. Choice A, menubrium of sternum, B, esophagus, C, descending thoracic aorta, D, thoracic duct, E, spleen. So, what structure is related to these two ribs? It may be partly related to rib number 11 also. So, 9, 10, 11, or 9, 10, or partly of 11. The structure is what? The structure is the spleen. Answer is E. Question number three. A 61 year old man is known with known coronary arterial disease and an implanted pacemaker for many years has developed arrhythmia. He is visiting his cardiologist for regular follow-up. Which of the following chamber walls of the heart is the site of insertion of pacemaker leads? Choices are A, left atrium, B, right atrium, C, right ventricle, D, left ventricle, E, right auricle. Okay. Answer should be C, right ventricle. These are these probes are this these probes are okay or leads are inserted to the trabeculic carne of the right ventricle. So the so the pacemaker leads are inserted into the right ventricle wall in the trabeculic carne. Question number four, a medical student was learning histology of cerebellum and Purkinje cells. The medical student has reminded himself of the Purkinje fiber in the heart. Purkinje fiber can be found in which of the following heart chambers, chamber walls. So we have Purkinje cell in the cerebellar cortex. We have Purkinje cell in the wall of the heart. Here, Purkinje cell, this is a neuron. In the chamber wall, this is a part of conducting system of the heart, okay, in the wall of the heart. So, what, where it is located? 
this is located in the left and right ventricle and Parkinson fibers are modified cardiac muscle cells like other part of the conducting system of the heart they are not neurons so they are present in the wall so initially sub endocardial then sub then it will be distributed to the myocardium of the left and right ventricle so answer is e question number five in a 11 year a 11 year you can say n okay okay so an 11 year old boy was visiting a cardiologist with a known history of cardiomegaly his left ventricular hypertrophy could result from which of the following disorders constricted pulmonary trunk mitral valve stenosis pulmonary valve incompetence incompetent tricuspid valve stenosis of the aorta so for left ventricle this is the exact answer or the most probable answer of this case this is the answer stenosis of the aorta other thing may may, may be a part of cardiomegaly but particularly this left ventricular hypertrophy is associated with stenosis of the aorta there is the answer e Question number 19A, 19 year old junior is pushed into the steering wheel while involved in a head on collision accident and experiences acute respiratory distress, a plane extra the chest revealed coils of small intestine in the left pleural cavity and a partially collapsed left lung. Which of the following muscle is most likely damaged? So, this is an injury, road traffic accident, head and collision. Okay, so here what muscle is damaged that it has been, has been penetrated by the cause of intestine and that enters into the thorax? A. Rectus sedimentis, transversus sedimentis, C. Levator costurum, D. Erector spinae, E. Diaphragm answer should be diaphragm in this type of accident diaphragm may be ruptured may be open them opened up uh, and that may be the source through where the coils of intestine especially the small intestinal coil may go to the thoracic area may go to the pleural cavity and may even damage the lung okay and that may even go under the lung and lung is collapsed due to high pressure in the abdomen and there will be perforation or a tear in the diaphragm through which the small intestine will go up. So answer should be diaphragm. Question number seven, a 63 year old woman presents with advanced cancer of the posterior mediastinum. She had a history of guard. Guard means gastroesophageal reflux disorder for many years she is a lifelong fan of spicy food which is the following structure is most likely involved in this scenario so posterior mediastinum structure that, that is have a cancer and what is the and this person has guard gastroesophageal reflux disorder lifelong fan of spicy food what, so, what are the choices? Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, trachea, esophagus, agios, vein. Our answer should be esophagus. This is a common site of cancer of the structure in the posterior mediastinum. So, answer is D. Usually, no tumor in the superior inferior vena cava, and most unlikely. Or also in the azygos pain. Trachea is not a content of 
posterior mediastinum. This is the content of superior mediastinum. Okay, it is the, it is the AR2. So it is it may or may not be related to the guard. So answer should be esophagus here. Question number eight. A 61 year old man recently suffered a myocardial infarction in the area of the upper part of the left ventricle along the left margin of the heart. Which of the following arteries is blocked in this patient? Internal thoracic artery, right coronary artery at its origin, posterior intraventricular artery, circumflex branch of the left coronary artery, anterior intraventricular artery. What is the answer? circumflex branch of the left coronary artery D is the answer. Okay, question number nine. A newborn baby is admitted to the hospital with dyspnea and cyanosis. Upon testing, he is found to have pulmonary stenosis, dextroposition of the aorta. Dextroposition is always associated with overriding of the aorta. Ventricular septal defect, right ventricular hypertrophy. Which of the following is the clinical diagnosis? Patent across arteriosis, aortic stenosis, tetralogy of fallot, coarctation of the aorta, cardiomyopathy. Answer should be tetralogy of fallot. We have four components present here pulmonary stenosis, dextroposition overriding of the aorta, ventricular septal defect and right ventricular hypertrophy. So four problems with the tetralogy of failure. Answer is C. Question number 10, a 64 year old man has bradycardia. With okay, bradycardia means decreased heart rate, an occasional heart block. His cardiologist advises him to implant a pacemaker. Which, which of the following part of the conducting system of the heart is the pacemaker of the heart? Okay, answer should be what? SA node, AV node, bundle of his, septum marginal trabeculae, Purkinje's sense. Answer should be the SA node. This is the pacemaker of the heart, SA node. These are my answer keys. And that's all about the MCQs in thorax, heart, mediastinum, and chest wall. I'll continue putting MCQs for your good preparation for the PG entrance, USMD, or first prof examination. So please share the information with your friends. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye now.